Hello, I am very happy to tell you that Genshin Impact video game has released free PMX models for you to download. Of course, these models cannot be used for commercial purposes. It is only intended for you to study the models and also create personal animations, okay? So nothing to do commercials on or to, to purpose it for uh, economic intended purposes, none of that, please. And after you get to the download page, which I am going to be leaving the link down here in the video description, you scroll down the page, you come here into the characters that you see right here, you're going to click on them, D D Luke or something, okay? So you're going to download that, and what you also need to do is to download the Blender Cats add-on. Yeah, I know, it's very cool. So you're going to go here into the GitHub, give me all your cats, and you're going to download this thing right here by download the zip, okay? When you download the zip file, you follow the normal procedure to install the add-on, which is basically whatever you save your zip file, go to preferences, go to add-ons, go to install, navigate to your designated folder. So when you download it to your designated location, you can copy that file path, paste it over here, select your cat's plugin, and then click on install add-on. I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed. Then you press the letter N, and then you will see this tab that says cats. From here, you're going to open model, and then import model. So let's go to the Kenshin Impact folder, paste the path right there, select the model, the PMX model, and then click import any model. And as you can see, you have your Kenshin Impact model right here. And after that, you're going to click here on fix model. Fix model, what it's going to do, it's going to go through the bone rotations and it will align it to Blender um, coordinates, if we can say it so. And that way you can control and animate this with the same hierarchy of bones that it already has. And that's how you import the model using the CATS plugin. But I also would like to recommend to you to download the following uh, MMD importer, which I am also going to leave you the description down in the comment section below. And there, we can do exactly the same thing to import our model. Let's delete all of this. All right, let's start anew. And from here, you can go into import model. So the same thing applies. This new model, 1.4 megabytes. And you're going to notice the difference when we go through this process of importing. So right now the model is working as intended and, and the first thing that you are going to notice is that this will bring the original character plus all the bones plus the materials. The specific model has different materials there that you can uh, trace back using the MMD text UV coordinates and of course the material itself and thus it connects to the their own shader, which is called the MMD Shader Dev. So I highly, highly recommend this one instead of the CATS one, because this one deals with everything that has to do with PMX and MMD uh, files. Uh, I'm not going to go through the process of everything that it's got there, but when you see this, what you need to do is to come here into the Convert Materials for Cycles, click that button, and everything should be in its place. If you click here, as you can see, this one is the uh, shaded view, this is the solid view, and this is how it is intended to be seen. Now, as you can see, every texture here, and this is why we're reviewing this, every texture here has uh, everything painted. There's nothing dynamic here, even if I add a light, a very strong light, it's not going to do anything because like I mentioned before, the MMD shader that uh, this add-on brings has all the compatibility with the texturing method that they use. And they use different things. 
um, let me show you in context. This is a shader. This is where you get the base texture, the tune texture, the sphere texture, the base alpha, the tune alpha, plus other many different stuff. So internally, what they have is all of these connections to do the matte, the correct matte, pixel matte, uh, for the colors. So you can press this little arrow here, or when you have selected the group, you can press tab to go into the uh, compound. We call it compound, okay? This is a group, but we prefer to call it compound. Exit the compound or the group, and then you're back. As a matter of fact, the ice shaders that I'm working on right now are going to be having something like this, but not entirely. Uh, because there are some parameters I cannot uh, plug through this, but in any case, I will be putting frames or descriptions so that you can accurately move the shader or tweak the shader. So that's it. You select your bones, press tab, go into post mode, and from there, you can just R, Z, and now you're going to move this one like so. How do I know it's Z? Because it's the blue... Um, axis right here so I know that that's corresponding to Z. So thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification <laughs> button and when my anime eyes stylized shader is ready you'll be notified for the next video review about it. This has been Pierre Schiller with another Schiller tip. The Blender community has got your back if you got questions. Try Blender. Blender is powerful and industry compatible. See you in the next video.